गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स अप टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडी पॉलिनेशन टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनेशन देन पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट्स एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट्स सच एज एनिमोफिली हाइड्रोफिली एंटोमोफिली ऑर्निथोफिली एंड कायोटिंग नाउ वी हैव टू स्टडी वन इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट अबाउट pollination which is termed as contrivances for pollination contrivances for pollination we know pollination is of two types that is self pollination and cross pollination self pollination and cross pollination in plants there is development of some characters some adaptations some devices which favors desirable type of pollination and prevent undesirable one that is there are some adaptations which favor self pollination which promote self pollination and avoid cross pollination or there are some adaptations which favors cross pollination promotes cross pollination and prevents self pollination if we study self pollination then contrivances for self pollination for self pollination what is required it requires presence of both sex organs both reproductive poles in a same flower that is flowers must be bisexual that is bisexuality when the flowers are bisexual then it promotes self pollination then it also requires homogamy it requires homogamy now what is homogamy the maturation period maturation period of androecium and gynoecium is same which is termed as homogamy that is bisexuality and homogamy favors self pollination when the flowers when the flowers opens to expose androecium and gynoecium or to expose the reproductive poles then it is termed as chasmogamy and flowers are termed as chasmogamous flowers in some plants such as in comelina the flowers are closed that is pollination takes place before opening of flowers or in closed of flowers which is termed as Pistogam, and the flowers are termed as pistogamous flowers. So, bisexuality, homogamy, and pistogamy favors self pollination and avoids cross pollination. Okay. Now, there are contrivances for cross pollination, which are also termed as. It is termed as outbreeding, outbreeding devices, outbreeding devices. And what are outbreeding devices? These are the adaptations or characters developed by flowers 
to achieve cross pollination to achieve cross pollination and to avoid self pollination it is termed as outbreeding devices these are the divided devices or adaptations characters developed by flowers to achieve cross pollination and to prevent self pollination now what are these outbreeding devices number 1 number 1 is dicogamy it is dicogamy we know about homogamy in homogamy androecium and gynoecium mature at the same time while in dicogamy androecium and gynoecium matures at different time that is androecium and gynoecium or anther and stigma matures at different time okay. now in terms of them the flowers are flowers are bisexual in homogamy also flowers are bisexual in dicogamy also flowers are bisexual but in homogamy anther and stigma mature at the same time while in dicogamy and those anther and stigma matures at different time and this condition favors cross pollination and prevent self pollination how it prevent self pollination because suppose in some flowers stigma is mature but at the at that time anther is not mature and pollen grains are not available then self pollination is avoided or vice versa now this dicogamy is of two types that is number 1 is protandric and number 2 is protogyny protandric and protogyny now what is protandric when when anther matures before stigma it is termed as protandry and flowers are termed as protandrous flowers condition is protandry flowers are termed as protandrous flowers example sunflower okay first condition is protandry here anther matures before stigma that is when pollen grains are ready then stigma is immature stigma is not receptive and hence self pollination is avoided in protogyny what happens in protogyny opposite condition in protogyny stigma matures before anther stigma matures before anther that is when stigma is mature then in the same flower the anther is immature that is pollen grains are not available and so self pollination is avoided protandry and protogyny example mypelia mypelia 
here sunflower and here my okay it is the first condition it is the first outbreeding device developed by plants to achieve cross pollination and to prevent or to inhibit or to avoid self pollination dicogamy these are the this is the condition when androsium and gynosium matures at different times or anther and stigma matures at different time it avoids self pollination now in this dicogamy the flowers are bisexual and it is of two types that is protandry and protogyny in protandry anther matures before stigma that is androsium matures before gynosium flowers are termed as protandrous flowers example in is sunflower in protogyny stigma matures before anther and hence self pollination is avoided example is mike so it is the first outbreeding device developed by plants to achieve cross pollination and to prevent self pollination another important outbreeding device is unisexuality unisexuality the flowers are flowers are unisexual flowers are unisexual that is male flowers and female flowers male flowers and female flowers are different but sometimes these male and female flowers are present on the same plant body or male and female flowers are present on the different plants that is plant can be same or two different plants and on the basis of this condition we can classify the plants into two types that is monoecious and number two is dioecious monoecious condition and dioecious condition in monoecious condition male and female flowers male flowers and female flowers male and female flowers are present on the same plant body on the same plant body okay example castor castor in castor there is presence of male and female flowers separate male and female flowers but these two flowers are present on the same plant body this condition this condition prevents self pollination okay and we know about self pollination self pollination is of two types that is autogamy and zygotogamy this condition prevents this condition prevents autogamy but it cannot prevent zygotogamy okay monoecious condition castor or another example cucurbita in dioecious condition male and female plants male plant and female plant. male and female plants are different male flowers are produced on the male plant female flowers are produced on the female plant this condition is termed as dioecious condition example is papaya 
in papaya milk and milk plants are different and this condition prevents prevents atogenic as well as getogenic it prevents atogenic as well as getogenic now for board examination what is the question contributions for pollination or explain out feeding devices then diatogenic protendry protogyny then unisexuality monoecious condition diocious condition example monoecious castor diocious purple okay it is the second out feeding device then another one is pre potency pre potency now what is pre potency in pre potency pollens of other flowers other flowers germinate rapidly okay example is apple what is pre potency the pollens of other flowers germinate rapidly in the same flower suppose uh, in apple flower like this there is the stigma so the flowers are bisexual flowers are bisexual and in the bisexual flower there is presence of pollen but the pollen of other flowers germinate rapidly it is they germinate fast before the pollen of the same flower so it promotes cross pollination and prevents self pollination another one is heterostyle or it is also termed as heteromorphic example jasmine just like there is presence of two types of flowers two types of flowers we show variation in the length of the uh, stem and the length of the filament of the stem okay heterostyle now like this suppose this is the flower here is the stigma ori and here is the and when the pollen grains are released from these anthers they are unable to reach the stigma of this flower same flower and it prevents cell pollination or in some flowers uh, other flowers the condition is like this Okay. Here anthers are present on the top, and stigma is present below, and it also prevents cell pollination and it favors cross pollination, which is termed as heterostyle. And last one is last one or another self sterility. cell sterility okay here the flowers are flowers are bisexual flowers are bisexual but the pollens 
of the same flower same flower are unable to germinate germinate on the stigma of same flower which is termed as self sterility and this condition is due to genetic factors okay self sterility so these are the outbreeding devices or in uh, old syllabus it is given under contrivances for pollination contrivances means the adaptations developed by flowers to achieve desirable type of pollination and to avoid undesirable one to achieve self or cross pollination or to avoid self or cross pollination hmm? okay contrivances for cross pollination thank you